this car has to be the comeback car for Ford. I say that because the original Taurus kind of set a benchmark. When they were making 80 variations of this best-selling Taurus, they decided to make the Taurus Show or the Taurus SHO. This needs to one-up that car by a lot, and it's apparent that Ford has tried very hard to do all those things. All-wheel drive, 365 horsepower. Those are impressive numbers. I'm gonna say something you don't hear reviewers say very often. This is a really good American car. I like the new Taurus. It feels like a fresh new direction for Ford. Now Paul's gonna tell you he thinks the styling looks perfect. As a matter of fact, I like it a lot. Why do I need doors that are this high? Why do I need windows that are this short? It looks like they designed an SUV and squashed it. I think Ford's gonna sell a lot of these cars, especially the SHO. And the interior has got an interesting design and good materials, and that's traditionally not a good point for Ford. Even things like the door handles and some of the details are interesting to look at. I've got to say I'm impressed with just the instrument panel alone. Eye-pleasing shapes everywhere that I look. This would be a comfortable road car. I also really like the blended center console that comes down waterfall style between the driver and the passenger. Now the SHO is equipped with the paddle shift transmission and I, I can't quite figure this out yet. The paddles don't work like they're supposed to. You pull back to upshift and you push forward with your thumb to downshift. Why are we doing this? If you're used to driving any other paddle shift car, it's just a poor design. It should be like everything else. That's what we're used to, that's what works well. These little dried cow's ears or whatever the hell they are over the top of the steering wheel are awful. This is a big heavy car and it feels like that in the handling. And I can tell this is brought to you by the people that make the Ford F-150. You have a truck-like seating position. This is a pretty high car. The suspension needs to be a little bit more finely tuned. It just still feels wallowy. The one thing they didn't compromise on, though, was power. I was honored. I just couldn't help it. I just couldn't help it. I can imagine taking a very comfortable family road trip in this car and blowing by 18 wheelers on a whim. As a matter of fact, I like the Taurus a lot. I like the styling, I like the interior, I like the instrument panel. There's all this power and all wheel drive. You'd think with all the power that this car has, the brakes would be absolutely stunning. They're entirely not okay. These brakes suck. Now, the SHO is not going to get people out of their BMW and into a Ford. But if you're a person that's ever considered an American car, this is a great one. It's actually fun to drive. I like it a lot. It's a good car. I just wish Ford would pay a little more attention to those refinement details that really push it over the top. You know what this is? The Taurus SHO is dad's car. He can have the family, and he can still go like stink when he wants to. 